Title, Minibus Meets Parked Pickup in Egypt, 15 Lives Ended in a Heartbeat, But Who's to Blame? TLDR A speeding minibus crashed into a parked pickup in southern Egypt, leading to the tragic death of 15 people. As inquiries are ongoing, a chilling question arises, could this have been prevented, or is it yet another grim tally mark in Egypt's ongoing traffic accident saga? Buckle up, folks, and pay attention. You might have just finished your overpriced latte, or maybe you're taking a breather from an intense round of fortnight, regardless, it's time to get serious. The scene is set in southern Egypt, near a quiet town named El Saf, a stone's throw away from Cairo. Imagine a lonely minibus charging down a desert road with the unstoppable momentum of a sci-fi starship. Its destination. Tragically, a parked pickup truck. The collision, fierce and unforgiving, extinguished 15 lives in a flash, leaving an aftermath of confusion, grief, and daunting questions. Two women were injured and were quickly dispatched to the hospital, the only survivors of this horrid event. Now, the minibus driver and the innocently parked pickup truck driver, who survived unscathed, are left to face the music, drowned in a pool of questions. Why was the minibus speeding? Why was the pickup parked there? And the biggest question of all, could this tragic incident have been avoided? There's a chilling familiarity to this tragedy. Just a few months back, a passenger bus rammed into a slow-moving truck on a southwestern Egyptian highway, putting a full stop to 17 lives. And before that, another six fell victim to a similar incident near Egypt's eastern city of Ismailia. A troubling trend, wouldn't you say? In Egypt, and honestly, quite a few other places, road accidents aren't just another headline, they're a deeply ingrained societal issue. Badly maintained roads, lax traffic law enforcement, and reckless driving, it's a deadly cocktail that serves up thousands of fatalities every year. The real question here is, who's to blame? The drivers. The government for poorly maintained infrastructure. The lax enforcement of traffic rules. Is it a single culprit or a menacing combination of them all? Each new incident is a wake-up call, a reminder that we need to address the issue of road safety, not just in Egypt, but globally. It's about time we held a mirror to ourselves and asked, when will we stop accepting these tragedies as mere accidents, and start treating them as the preventable incidents they truly are? It's easy to lay blame, but harder to take action. So, dear readers, here's the question we're tossing your way. What do you think can be done to curb these terrifying road mishaps? The roads are calling out, are we listening? Disclaimer, this news article doesn't serve as a recommendation or endorsement of any kind. It is purely factual, based on available data and does not speculate or assume responsibility for any future actions or consequences. For any legal or financial decisions, always consult with a trusted professional in the relevant field.